Hi Jinshi, I'm back with another video in English. Today I'm going to talk about the absence of Afro-Brazilians from mainstream media in Brazil and why Segundo Sol, a new novella set in Bahia, proves just how racist Brazilian mainstream media is. Black Americans are living in a golden age of television for black people in the United States. We have black people acting in television, we have black people directing television shows, we have black people producing television shows, heck, we even have black people who own television stations. And we're only 13% of the population. I wish I could say the same for Brazil. Black people make up more than 50% of the population in Brazil, but the TV situation does not represent that. Brazilian TV is not only white by Brazilian standards, it's white by Northern European standards. I mean, the people they show on the novellas, on the news, are what they would call in Brazil, white, white, white. I'll do a video on that one, one of these days. I mean, if you watched Global, the most popular television station in Brazil all day, you would actually think that you're in a Northern European country. With a Northern European country with maybe 10% black population. No, maybe 5%. Global is not the only television station in Brazil, but no other television station or media com company infiltrates and influences Brazilians like Global. I watched Global all day and by the end of the day I was like this is not good for my sanity and as a black person your self-esteem will be shot. When it comes to novellas black people have traditionally been portrayed as maids, as bungidos, the bad guys and this is very important because television has a huge impact socially and culturally in Brazil. You know there are exceptions to the rule I'll give a shout out to the 10 a.m. show of Fatima Bernadez. She does a wonderful job of showing black people in a positive light every day at 10 a.m. And also, we cannot forget the amazing couple of Lazaro Ramos and Thais Ujo. They have their own television show on Global called Mr. Brow. But unfortunately, this is not enough. The latest example of blatant racism in media can be found in Global's 9 p.m. novella, Segundo Sol. Segundo Sol is a novella set in Bahia, the blackest state in Brazil. This novella follows the drama of a washed up music producer who somehow everybody thinks is dead and then regains his success because everybody thinks he's dead. Global claimed that it could not find black people to portray any of the characters in this novella. So when the media first came out about this novella, about, about a month ago, only three of the 27 characters were black. Three out of 27, just over 10%. And none of them have leading parts. When Global revealed this new series, black people in Brazil responded with criticism, obviously. One of my favorite YouTuber, AD Jr., responded with a parody video in which he imagined a television show set in Santa Catarina, the whitest state in Brazil, but only with black characters. A novela vai contar a história de duas irmãs que disputam o título de rainha da festa da Oktoberfest. E no meio dessa confusão toda, vai ter um primo que vai chegar da Alemanha, que foi mandado para fazer um intercâmbio pelos pais, e esse primo vai basicamente fazer com que as duas disputem o amor dele, e vai cada vez mais fomentar que essa novela, essa trama fique cada vez mais apimentada. Gabriela Oliveira, another one of my favorite YouTubers, also produced a video in which she explained what is the effect of seeing constantly seeing black people portrayed negatively on television for decades. And she asked that people not watch this show. Quanto tempo 
você só viu mulheres negras sendo representadas como empregadas ou escravas. Escravas, entre aspas. Pessoas escravizadas. Ah, e a gente não pode esquecer da hipersexualização, que é aquela mulher que serve só para o desejo dos homens. Sinceramente, não espero empatia de ninguém. Mas o que eu espero é que um dia você entenda o poder que está nas suas mãos. De mostrar, através de atos simbólicos e de boicote, o quanto nós estamos insatisfeitos e que nós não vamos parar de pressionar. Até que... Brazilian television has effectively created a negative image that affects black and white people to this day. I'm not going to sit up here and say that America is perfect. I don't remember any black or Latino people on Friends set in New York City or even on Sex in the City, another show set in New York City. But at the same time, I feel like we always had options. We had this diversity. If, if we couldn't see ourselves there, we could go somewhere else and see ourselves. Or we, we would just create our own media. But you know that it wasn't always like that in the United States. I was just never alive to experience that era. But you have to wonder, how does it feel to grow up in a place where in real life you see black people everywhere But on television, you only see black people represented in negative ways. The negative impact of Brazilian television on black youth in particular is very real. And I have proof for you. A couple of months ago, I went to go visit Bahia. And I, while I was there, I decided to visit a Colombo in Bahia. The, the name of the Colombo is Hamanso. And Colombos are traditional self-sustaining self communities of black people. And they're typically small, maybe, you know, anywhere from 150 people to 500 people, very small communities. The young, one of the young leaders of the community named Delvin um, explained to me what happened after the community received electricity in 2006. This community, community did not have access to television around the clock. He explained to me that once the community received television, and the young people started watching television, they began to feel ashamed of themselves. Delvin said that the young people in his community began to hate being black. That's what happens when you see constant negative images of yourself on television. It was only after he worked intensely with these young people that he got them to understand that what they see on television does not represent them. Thanks to the internet, many Afro-Brazilians are turning to the rest of the world for shows that represent them. Dear White People is a show that is extremely popular in Brazil, especially among Afro-Brazilians because of the diversity in the Black people that the show presents. And also, has there ever been a television show with college-educated Afro-Brazilians in Brazil? If there has been, please let me know because I do, I actually have never seen one since I started living in Brazil. There are um, websites on the internet that actually translate these shows and transmit them with subtitles. Illegally, of course. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. There's also a movement of young Brazilians who are starting to tell their own stories through media. I'm saying all of this to say that Brazil, you need to do better. I have a question for Americans watching this video. Have you seen Afro-Brazilians represented in media? And if so, what have been those representations? Think about it. Think about the times that you have seen Afro-Brazilians in any media, period. I also have a question for Afro-Brazilians and even Brazilians watching this video in English. What type of representations of Afro-Brazilians do you want to see on television? Thanks to you guys for watching my television show. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and please click on that notification button so you can know when exactly I post all my new videos. Thanks so much. See you next time.